Welcome to XM.com for today's market comment by Jara Lambos Pisuros. I'm Cristina Marujos. The dollar pulled back against most of the other major currencies on Monday, extending gains only against the Japanese yen. Today, the greenback is trading lower or unchanged. Following the balanced remarks by Fed Chair Powell at the Jackson Hole, who left the door open to more hikes but refrained from pre committing to any action, dollar traders may have turned cautious at the start of this week in anticipation of important data could help reshape market expectations regarding the Fed's future course of action. The latest upbeat data from the United States and Powell's remarks allowed market participants to assign around a 65% probability for another hike by November and to scale back a notable amount of basis points worth of anticipated rate cuts for next year. Data releases this week include the core PCE index for July on Thursday, but the highlight will likely be Friday's employment report for August. Anything pointing to a still strong labor market and sticky inflation could prompt investors to add to their hike bets, which could drive Treasury yields higher and thereby add more fuel to the dollar's engines. The yen has once again been the big loser, staying victim to yield differentials. Although U.S. Treasury yields pulled back yesterday, their strong prevailing uptrends combined with the Bank of Japan's caps on Japanese government bond yields suggest that the gap may further widen if this week's U.S. data add more credence to the view that the Fed Fund's target rate is likely to stay higher for longer than previously estimated. Dollar-Yen continues to trade above 146 and around 12% up since the beginning of the year. Japanese authorities have yet to intervene, but if the uptrend continues, intervention at higher levels, perhaps at around 150, could become a more likely scenario. Wall Street traders cheered the fact that Powell did not commit to any action, the fact that despite raising the implied path, the market is still expecting interest rates to finish 2024 around 90 basis points below current levels may also be helping equities. The high-growth tech firms that have been the main drivers of the latest rally in Wall Street are usually valued by discounting free cash flow for the quarters and years ahead. Thus, the fact that participants are still expecting a decent amount of rate cuts next year keeps the net present values of those firms elevated. Strong U.S. data this week could weigh on equities, but as long as numerous rate cuts for 2024 remain firmly on the table, any continuation of the slide that started on July 27 could still be seen as a deeper correction within a broader uptrend. Thank you for watching today's market comment here at XM.com. 